it has been far too long since I have uploaded a true blue beginner poi combo to this channel. Well, we're fixing that today. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, bringing you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today we are going through my first really o truly o beginner poi combo in a few months. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So yeah, um, you're getting to see more of my apartment than you usually do when I shoot these videos. And that honestly is because the two combos that I had queued up to record today uh, both require quite a bit of movement. And unfortunately, my back backdrop just isn't wide enough for me to be able to do all of that movement and uh, not have my poi disappearing off the edges of the screen. And of course, it is raining cats and dogs outside, so here we are, uh, warts and all. I hope you'll forgive me for that. But hey, there's a bright side, namely that I realized it has been months since I've uploaded a real beginner poi combo, and uh, as I was messing around with some stuff earlier today, I came upon something that not only did I really like, but that that also is probably the least trick intensive combo I've ever uploaded to this channel. So what are the tricks that you're going to need for this combo? So glad you asked. You're going to need to know how to do your three beat weaves as well as how to do your pendulums, preferably in a together opposite kind of fashion. Yeah, that's actually it. Uh, you can find links to the, both of the tutorials for these two tricks down in uh, the description as well as up in the cards if you happen to be watching this on YouTube. I will show you the combo at full speed, talk you through it piece by piece, and then I will show it to you again in slow motion. So, um, what this combo lacks in diversity of tricks, I feel like it makes up for in some body movement, which is stuff that I want to get beginners doing anyhow. Um, really, the kind of nucleus around which this combo forms is this idea of kind of doing these butterfly pendulums. That is um, both bringing the poi up as well as taking the poi down. I'm doing this thing where my arms are like crossing across the middle and everything. In fact, if you wrap up the poi, you'll find that uh, the kind of pattern that we're going through here is that we're going to sweep our hands around up to out and then back through the middle out. So just practice this motion right quick. Having your hands go down and around, up through the middle and out, and then up and around, down through the middle and back out. Basically you come up through the middle, out, down through the middle, out. That is like the basic unit around which this combo revolves. So to add the movement of the poi into that, um, I'm actually gripping a little bit up on my poi because the space that I'm working in is a little small and everything. You can do this at full length though, that's no problem. Basically, um, you're coming from a place where you sweep your arms up and out and you're really like reaching out as you get to the top and everything. And there's this moment where the poi kind of come to a stop out to the sides. You pull them back in and around and back down. Um, now, you can just do this straight up with the arms basically going as far out both on the top as well as the bottom. Uh, the way that I'm kind of playing it is basically that the hands go further out on top than they do on the bottom, mainly because I want there to be a dynamic shift between bottom and top and everything. So if you want to do it the way I am doing it, uh, think that your hands stay closer to your center line as they come down and they go further out as they come up. So think out through the middle, out through the middle, out through the middle, out. If you want to add the body movement onto this, which I know you do because you're awesome like that, um, it looks like this. Basically, you're going to start off uh, with your feet in a fourth position and everything. And as the poi are coming up through the middle and everything, you're going to step out and shift your focus over to stage left here. Yeah. And that's also when your arms spread out. So as you can see, it's one of these things that like we're kind of exploring volume with our full bodies and then bringing it back in. Yeah. So you go out 
facing to stage left, or at least having your focus to stage left. And then as your hands come back around, you're stepping back in and your gaze returns to uh, looking at the floor and everything. So we start looking down, poi come up, body goes out, we come back to the middle. Body goes out, we come back to the middle. On the third time, when we hit this point where our body is kind of spread out and everything, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So this is one of two spots in here that genuinely might be a little tricky, but let me, let me guide you through it here. So one of the benefits that we have with pendulums here is that they kind of freeze over on this horizontal plane and everything, right? Um, if I want to, when they're out to the sides, boom, I can walk around in a circle and the poi kind of follow me, right? Now, we're going to take advantage of this, and on that last time when we're stepping, boom, out to the side, I want you to go ahead and do just that and start moving your body around in a circle. I'm turning to my left. Now, you'll notice that as I'm doing that, I am also doing a little flower petal with each of the poi going over my shoulders as I'm taking that path around and everything. Um, you can just make this a straight horizontal uh, extension, that is your arms and poi are just going straight out to the sides and everything. It, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, I'm just adding the pedals in there for ornamentation and everything. So the last one winds up looking like this, where the poi come up, you step out, take them around, and when you come back to face the camera, I want you to have both of the poi come to a rest over on your left-hand side here, and that's where your focus is too. All right, now we're going to pull that right hand up first with the left hand following it, and this is gonna result in us doing a three-beat weave over to stage right. Our focus is gonna go with it. Basically, right goes up, left crosses over it, and that is our three-beat weave. Now, honestly, you can hang out in this three beat weave as long as you want to. I'm only doing a single rep of it in the combo, but like, you know, if you need to hang out here for a few beats, that's totally fine. The way you're gonna exit is when you get over here to where you entered. That is, I have that place where my left hand is coming around on top of my right hand. In fact, to get prepped for this, you're probably gonna want to, when the uh, poi and hands untwist, you're gonna wanna separate your hands just a little bit so you can see that place where they break apart, yeah? All right, so this is the second place where we run into what's kind of a tricky transition here. And what that's gonna look like is as my left hand separates out from my right hand and everything, I'm actually gonna let it go around in a really, really, really big circle. The reason being that I want it to actually lose momentum. I want us to get to the point where that left hand poi kind of conks out and doesn't have enough energy to get over the left hand. You're gonna need to think, boom, I want it to stay down as your hand goes around. You can start this off, of course, doing like really, really, really big arms on the left-hand side of that weave. But as you work on that and everything, think that you're gonna kind of rob some of the energy from your left-hand poi and let it fall beneath your hand in a pendulum, yeah? All right, so when we do that, the left hand goes across and the right hand comes up under it, yeah? Now, you may actually recognize this position because it's that same position that we had when we were doing our butterfly pendulums earlier. That is, we have our arms crossed and the poi are kind of working in pendulums and everything, right? Well, that is deliberate because what's gonna happen now is uh, after we have the poi go out, we're gonna pull them right back to an open position here. So think that as you're doing that weave, it is pendulums back to out. See that? As I'm doing the three beat weave, left hand goes to pendulum and the right hand follows it and they both come out. The hand motion is gonna be basically that as that left hand is going out to the side and everything, you're gonna have the left hand go over, the right hand go under, boom, and when they're crossed, they both exit by going up and out to the sides. Once again, as we are letting that left hand go over, it does a big circle, the right hand goes under it, and the moment they're crossed, boom, they switch to both going up and over to get out of that cross place, yeah? Okay, so with the poi, as we reach that place where we exit out in that butterfly and everything with our hands going up and out to the sides. Now we're in a place where we can sweep the poi down and around and just kind of let them drop out to our sides to finish off the combo and everything. 
Technically, you could think of this as being stalls, but I think that peop even people that haven't trained stalls extensively are instinctively going to understand sweeping the poi around and then just letting them drop beneath their hands and everything, yeah? Uh, and of course, as you're doing that, if you want to give me some great body motion, uh, I would love to see uh, basically you picking up your right foot with them and then stepping out and open as the poi uh, drop out to the sides and everything. So the end of that winds up being we have our pendulums back out, pick up the hands and feet, and you finish with a flourish like that, yeah? Awesome, so let's check all of that out from the top. So I'm actually gonna start on a quarter of my stage. That is, I'm gonna be slightly over to stage right and everything. And I'm going to begin by doing my pendulums and stepping out and back and out and back. Third time, I go out, around, I let the poi come to stop at my left hand side, I begin my three beat weave, left hand exits out, we have our butterfly going around, and boom, I arrive at the end. Yeah? Awesome. Let's check that out again in slow-mo. Excellent. So I kind of feel like this is my own version of green eggs and ham. There's there's like a great story about uh, Dr. Seuss basically getting into a bet with uh, his publisher, where his publisher was just like, I bet you you can't write a story that has no more than 30 words in it. And green eggs and ham was the result of that. And uh, yeah, only two poi tricks. How about that? Um, if you'd love to show me your version of this combo, and I hope that you do, uh, you can do so by posting video of yourself doing it to Instagram and you using the hashtag DrexFactorPoi. Uh, alternatively, you can post to your stories and tag me. I am at DrexFactor on Instagram. And uh, if I see your story, I will repost it to my own stories so that my followers can see your wonderful hard work. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help other people find it. And finally, a huge thank you because this video was made possible thanks to the kind contributions of these nice folks right here. These are my supporters on Patreon as well as those listed down in the description and everything. Uh, they make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Um, if you are loving the work that I'm doing and you would like to sign up to support it, which I would really appreciate, uh, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash DrexFactorPoi and signing up. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, uh, plus some great extra content gets uploaded there on occasion too. So go and check that out. Please and thank you. Awesome. So now I guess the challenge for me is to see if I can come up with a poi combo that uses only one trick. Um, I don't know. It might be a little while before I get around to that. Anyhow, uh, did you enjoy this combo? Would you like to see me do more beginner combos, more intermediate combos, what have you? Uh, let me know down in the comments so that uh, I have an idea of what I can do to serve you all out there. Yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and there's a lot of flow in it. Yeah. Awesome. I'll see you next week. Peace.